me explain to you a theory I call stop hanging out with crows. You can tell a lot about people based on the people they hang out with. If you look at a person, for that matter, you ask them, hey, who's your boyfriend, who's your girlfriend, who's your husband, who's your wife, who do you work for, who do you hire, who's your friends, who do you do business with, who are your vendors. I can tell a lot about that person based on who they let be around them. See, to me, two types of people in this analogy. There are eagles and there are crows. Eagles are kind of loners. They literally kind of hang out by themselves. Every once in a while, they'll, you'll see them with other birds. But the other birds are also eagles. Eagles don't hang out with crows. Crows are kind of a group. They kind of pile together. They sit in that group and they cause havoc. They eat anything. They're chain smokers, chain drinkers, always late. Kind of come and go as they please. Standards are pretty low. They don't mind getting dirty. They don't clean themselves up a lot. I mean, they will eat the worst of the worst and hang in the worst of the worst. And actually, if you see a crow, and, eh, they just kinda, they don't care. They don't care. Interestingly enough, though, most people don't realize the crow is actually the smartest bird on the planet. The crow is the only animal, oh, I'm sorry, only bird on the planet that I could take a pop bottle, soda bottle, soft drink bottle, I could put a piece of raw meat inside of it, and I could take a hanger, clothes hanger, one of the old metal ones, and I could lay it out next to the bottle with the piece of hamburger inside the bottle. Crow is the only bird that will actually unwrap the wire hanger, shape a hook, reach the hook inside the bottle, grab the piece of meat, and yank it out and eat it. They are the smartest bird on the planet. Eagles, on the other hand, aren't real bright. But they're real classy. Now, does that mean you should hire dumb people? No, that's not this analogy. What this analogy is focused on is, I want people that think of themselves as eagles. Big wingspan, always clean, doesn't hang out with a bunch of slimy crows, won't eat anything. I want people that when other people look at them, and I'm talking whether these people are my employees, whether they're investors, whether they're vendors, whether they're friends, people I'm around, I want people to look at them and go, look how sharp those people are. These people are eagles. As soon as I realize I have a crow, shoo the crows away. Partly because they're so smart, they know the difference between right and wrong. They've chosen not to act on that knowledge. That's scary. If they know what's right and wrong and they've chosen not to act on the knowledge. Now, I do believe that us as leaders, it is our responsibility to help the crows try to become eagles and to tell the crows what it is that's unacceptable, what my expectations are. So at that point, I've given them even more smarts because I'm telling them this is the expectation. And if they don't hit the expectation or put forth effort to hit the expectation, they are crows. Get rid of them. Your customers will appreciate it. And interestingly enough, if you look at your staff, the other crows on your staff will quit on their own behalf when they see you getting rid of the crows. 
They like hanging out in groups of crows. Let them go to your competition. But you hire eagles.